In this example, we're looking at a procedure to factorise quadratic trinomials where the coefficient of the x squared term is not equal to 1. This procedure is best used when tackling this type of problem for the very first time. Let's consider this example coming up where the coefficient of the x squared term is 2. The first thing we do is ask if there's a common factor. If we can factorise out that coefficient next to the x squared, it becomes a very simple factorisation problem where all we need to do is ask what adds to the middle term or the coefficient of x and what multiplies to the constant at the end. We then put those two values in two separate brackets next to the x terms. In this case there is no common factor, so we need to apply another procedure. The first thing we do is we ask what adds to the middle term as before, in this case the coefficient is 5. And we also ask what multiplies to 6. Now that 6 comes from the product of the two n values, in other words the coefficient of x squared and the constant at the end. So numbers which multiply to 6 are probably the easiest thing to consider first. And we can see that there's four pairs, there's 1 and 6, 2 and 3, negative 1 and negative 6, and negative 2 and negative 3. In this case we could have saved ourselves a lot of time because the only way that two numbers can multiply to a positive, in this case 6, and add up to a positive number, in this case 5, is if they're both positive. The next thing to consider is which of these pairs of numbers also adds to 5. And we can see by going through the list slowly that 2 and 3 are the only two numbers that satisfy this. What we then do is take these two numbers and split up the middle term. So plus 5x becomes plus 2x plus 3x. We then look at this expression in two halves. We can see we split this up into the purple and green halves. We then factorise each half, so the common factor of the first half is 2x, just like we do a normal factorisation, and that's left with x plus 1 in the bracket, and the common factor of the second bracket is positive 3, leaving us with x plus 1 in the second bracket. Now both of those brackets should be the same if we've done this process correctly. So what we then do is we treat this as a common factor, and we take the whole bracket out the front of the expression, leaving us with 2x plus 3, in the second pair of brackets. So what we've just done is factorise the initial expression into two brackets, x plus 1 and 2x plus 3. Let's check to see that our factorisation works. If we expand the brackets, we multiply the first two terms, x and 2x gives us 2x squared. x multiplied by positive 3 gives us positive 3x. We then multiply the 1 by the 2x, that gives us positive 2x and then we multiply the positive 1 and the positive 3, which gives us positive 3. We now, of course, simplify the like terms, that's 3x and 2x, to give us 2x squared plus 5x plus 3. This matches our original expression, so our factorisation is correct. The final solution is x plus 1 in one bracket, and 2x plus 3 in the second bracket, and of course those brackets could be switched around so that 2x plus 3 is first and x plus 1 second.